Some of the things that you've learned so far is just the whole thing of really getting concise about that takeaway message. And that's so important that before you even write your message, you need to know what it is that you want your listeners to take away. How you want them to be different after coming in contact with you, right? Because speaking is not about you, it's about what your audience is taking away. So that's why it's important to have to really bring that into a concise format so that you understand and it helps guide your process. It actually determines the content that you put in your message as well. And then from there, being able to know how much content to put in. So I already, you already learned about the 10 to one rule. If I didn't say that before, that's the rule, 10 to one. For every 10 minutes of speaking, one point you wanna make. And then how you illustrate that point is using ways that tie that point to something that is going to stick in people's minds. Now I gave you one part of that formula to illustrate points and tomorrow you're going to learn a little bit more about that as it comes to connection. With every point, you also want to have a takeaway. So maybe the overall message you want to take away, but every point you want to take away, and we call it a phrase. And you want to write this down. The phrase determines what stays. That in itself is a phrase. This helps you to determine, okay, what content goes in illustrating this point? Well, if this is my phrase, if this is what I want them to take away from this point, then the phrase determines what stays in terms of how much content, which content, okay? I want you to think in what's called a modular format, saying every point you make is a message in itself. So if you only have 10 minutes to speak somewhere, guess what? You have a message in that point. You have a point, but then you have ways of illustrating that point and connecting. You're going to learn more about how to use that to connect with your audience in a deeper way. But there's elements of that, how you illustrate that point, that it actually is a message in itself. This is really, really powerful when you capture this. And you'll find out more tomorrow why this is so powerful when I share a bit of my story about this in a little bit more detail. But for today, you've learned that, you've learned about the takeaway, you learned about the, choosing that topic and then what points you want them to know in order to have that takeaway. So right now, we're gonna move into talking about your story, your life story. Now, stories are really the foundation of human connection and communication. Jesus was a great storyteller. We see it throughout scriptures. He told stories, he used analogies. He did things that really to connect with the people that he was speaking to. And stories are one way of making yourself different and i don't mean that for the sake of being different but to understand your uniqueness because your story is part of your unique contribution to the world right your story is what differentiates you from someone else even in your same industry it's your story your unique story and how that all came about and all the things in, in, involved in that the other thing is when you share your story it helps to build trust and credibility and that's really important for people who to engage with you to want to do business with you to want to know more about what you do when you share a story your story particularly or other stories it builds trust and credibility now when you share your story of uh, for example your transformation stories so like i shared with you this morning about going from being terrified to speak to now standing before you training speakers and how I went from being deathly afraid of speaking even in a small group to now where I'm confidently speaking to you and I have speak, spoken to hundreds and thousands of people. That's my transformation story. I want them to learn this. What part of my story will help them to see that first of all, I'm similar, I'm just like them, that they can trust me they can trust what i'm saying is true because if it's worked in my life it can work in theirs and so this is this is a beautiful thing about story it helps you do that when you share part of your life story to so your listeners see hey she's just like me and if she can do it 
I can do it. Like Aranka said earlier, if you get up there and say, okay, I've got this, this, this in my credentials, this, 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 and this, and you don't share anything about that journey of how you got to where you are or why they should even listen to you, then they'll say, yeah, but I didn't grow up with a great dad or I didn't have that opportunity to have that kind of education. Or, I didn't have that in my life. So, and they'll just write it off. So you kind of have to break it down so that they see you as similar, not special in some way. So your life story is often the vehicle that helps you to do that. The other thing you do is you cast a vision for what's possible for others, cast a vision for what's possible for others. If they don't think it's possible for them to do this, Ranka, like you said, I'm not gutsy like you. Yes, you can be. It's possible. Because I never started out being gutsy. And you also give people permission to engage in their own transformation process. Okay, so this is kind of why story is so important and why your life story, sharing your life story is important. But bigger than that, I believe that your life story is key to your life message. And your life message is key to unlocking your calling, to walking in the fullness of your calling. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's look at the topic that you chose, the takeaway that you want them to have. And then I want you to begin to just list some experiences just stand out in your mind that were turning points, that were significant moments. And I want you to take a few minutes right now under life experiences that shaped who you are today. I want you to think in context of the turning point moment, pull out the ones that come to you first that seem to have the most significant impact. Okay. And again, you can redo this exercise at a later date. This is just a brainstorming exercise for you to begin to see, okay, what, what story connects to this and what part of my life story. Now I want you to think about this. I want you to think about that topic that you would speak on next week. Are you passionate about that topic? If you're not, then I want to challenge you to get another topic <laughs> because there has to be some passion in there. And if it's the topic that you're passionate about, that you feel compelled to share with other people, it's probably tapping into a calling that you have in terms of a focus of a message. And then I want you to think about what life story, what part of my life story connects to this. Maybe it fuels this passion. Maybe an experience I had that I over that I struggled with something and then I overcame a struggle. I found a way and someone helped me overcome that or whatever it might be. And that drives my passion today to help people in that same area of struggle or this truth that I learned that I want everyone to know because it just changed my life so radically that I want to share that with other people so that they too can be free to be who they're called to be.